you always be my queen. After over 400 videos on YouTube, I'm starting over. I want to see if I can capture the world of my imagination and inspire people to radical faith. You heard me right. I've made over 400 videos on YouTube and most of those are vlogs. So why am I starting a vlog? Well, it's more like restarting if you ask me and potentially risking the alienation of my entire audience. It's because of three main things. Okay, number one, I attended a private screening of a director friend of mine who made a film called Multiply. See this movie, see will cause you to believe, believe will cause you to trust, trust will cause you to go. Go see this movie. And it had an effect on me. It had such a positive effect that I kind of believe that we should do all movies that way. There was such like, I don't know, it's a churchy term, but like koinonia. There was 20 years of people who have been co-laboring beside one another, maybe different churches, different organizations, different business leaders that were all coming together. I'm gonna go in here to Lance's store. store. Knock, knock. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Look at this place. Big change from last time, huh? Dude. <laughs> Boy, no, brother. You doing, doing well? Good. Yeah, doing good. Well, this is it, eh? It's coming along. I want to get you to walk me around this place here in just a minute, but for right now, I want to know, how did you like the movie night the other day? I thought it was awesome. I thought okay. it was really cool. I've never been to like a, like a, a preview like that. So it was cool to get the invite. It was really special and it was cool to see, you know, what all the hard work had been about. My favorite part of the night was like seeing 20 years of investment into this region and this city coming together. You know, because like David Whiteman was there. Yeah, and like, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brad, Brad Allen and some of those guys who yeah. have started, you know, stadium movements in the past and tried yeah. to bring some of that stuff to here. I was telling Jake afterwards, I was like, I honestly didn't see the connection. I didn't know we were going to bridge like the 24,000 men event that's, you know, that God's put on Jake's heart for. I know. I didn't see that. So I when know. He said, he said it, I was like, Oh, boo, I feel like I'd been tricked by the Almighty. It was like, oh, that's <laughs> why we're here. Well, you know, even at our church right now, that's happening at our church. Like men are getting moved by the Spirit. Like there's people who just show up at 6.30 at our church and pray, all men. And they just walk around the campus and they just pray. Nobody initiated Nobody prompted that. Them? Prompted them? Nobody said anything. They just started showing up and doing it. And they have... As people have found out that they're doing it, more people show up. And those people are getting really moved by the Spirit. Like the people who are showing up and being faithful every Sunday. It's, it's, it's really cool to watch. Like that's, it's amazing, that's... yeah. Love well it. dude, thank you. Uh, walk me around here, tell me what we got yeah. going on here. Oh, oh I, bought, I bought a huge chandelier to hang right in the middle that hangs down like six foot from there and it's like three foot wide. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Hey, what's up, man? This is gonna be sweet, man. I like this place a lot, a lot. What are you gonna name it? King Coffee. That's what I'm talking about. The king's coming, man. People are gonna meet with the king right here. Yeah, there's a new king in town. <laughs> there's a new king, let's go. Hey, let's go. <laughs> To number two, and that is the medium is the message. So like how we choose to tell our stories through video, the scenery that we choose to set it up with, whether we do it documentary style, like just making sure we capture every moment, or whether we put a little whimsical on it. Wise friend of mine, mentor of mine once said, the medium is the message. The way that we choose to say something actually says a whole lot about the topic that we're discussing. It reminds me of also like Casey Neistat. There was a period of time where Casey videos that documenting every day, picking a thematic topic and going off on it was something that everybody did, aspired to, to tell a story. Nowadays, that medium is changing and I want to push my storytelling to keep up. Oh, also, if you 
have seen this shot, it means you've probably watched the Yellowstone series. If you've seen Bass Reeves, the production of Bass Reeves, this is where the hanging stand was. There's the courthouse. A little bit of history for you. They chose this spot for a reason because this medium was the message. I apologize. Oh, probably can't hear me. Yeah, I apologize for the conversational hiatus. If you couldn't tell, it started raining pretty bad. I'm here at a friend's dairy. I'm getting ready to take some pictures for this family. It's actually a pretty cool story. I'll tell you about it on the way. And thirdly, your story matters. I need you to know that your story matters. The reason that I'm revamping my vlog, this channel, everything that I've been working for for the last five years or so, is I want to inspire you that you can change your mind, you can pivot to something else that you feel like God is calling you into. For instance, this dairy and the people who own this dairy, they're in a different phase of life. This is where they started, actually, and they're choosing to document their story in a very cool way. The lady, is a part of this partnership her parents and grandparents back in the old days they had like there was this old Cessna pilot I remember him actually he would fly over people's farms and he's kind of crazy and he would take pictures out the side of his window and he would photograph your acreage or your farm or your dairy she grew up seeing all of these different pieces of artwork displayed of the, the dairy as it transitioned from grandparents to parents and so on and then eventually to her. And so this is kind of the continuation of that. I said, are you asking me to be the crazy pilot? And she said, actually, I'm asking you to be the crazy drone pilot. Would you go take some pictures for me? So here we are on this dairy, getting ready to document where they've taken it from the years prior to today. I think that's a pretty cool way of changing up of the medium that they've chose to tell their story because it matters. And that's what I want to do here. Whether you choose to tell it like Chris, the director friend of mine, through a grandiose feature film, multi-part thing that releases around the nation, or whether you choose like Casey Neistat to document the journey or the new style of vloggers who are coming along and documenting their journey in a creative way, or whether you're just a family trying to take and track the formation of your family along the way. Their story matters, your story matters, because we're all a part of his story. Tell it, it matters. So there it is, that's why I feel like everyone should be telling your story because it's his story he's invited us into this wild adventure that they call life whether you're doing it on a grand stage in front of millions of people showing millions of people or whether you're you're just like me documenting the daily journey or whether you're like this family that is taking snippets for generations and passing it on down the line it's all to tell how faithful god has been towards us i think it's invaluable and i think we need everybody like blasting it from the rooftops of how amazing Jesus is. That's why I'm revamping everything. I want to put a more whimsical look, whimsical spin up on the vlogs because I want to show you guys what's in this nugget and make it a little bit more fanciful because this life is truly incredible. Truly incredible. If that's interesting to you, please, by all means, join up for the ride. Join the brown coats. Let's get at it. Oh yeah, brown coats. See what I did there? If you get the reference, leave a comment down in the description below. If that's not something that you're into, thank you so much for the support thus far. I totally get it. I love you, you've been amazing. After 400 videos on YouTube, I have learned so much. But after 400 videos on YouTube, I'm starting over. And I want to see if I can show you guys this world that's inside of my head and inspire you to radical faith. If I do my job right and I show you how amazing he is here, 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 
you might just be inspired to do the same. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.